everybody. Welcome to the second episode of Grub and Groove. I am Tanya, your health coach and vegetable larian. <laughs> and this is my good friend, Dr. Ada Belinda, Dancing Lion, joining me today. Um, we were just talking about, actually, Dr. Dancing Lion's tradition of March 4th. So if you can tell us a little bit about March 4th, which is the day we're recording this. March 4th. So. What we do in our tradition is we write down a list of those things that we are ready to release and let go of and that are maybe hindering. So whatever you think it is you want to get rid of, just write it down and then dispose of it in a way that's meaningful to you. And then you write down where you want to go and what you want to do so that you can march forward. March forward. So we offer that to you as something that you're, once you release whatever you're releasing, then you can start your new something, make room for something better. And ideally it's you cooking some new vegetables. So today we're gonna cook some spinach. And I've got out my main ingredients, which are gonna be garlic, um, lemon, my secret ingredient, which is not gonna be secret much longer, Nutmeg. Yes. <laughs> tell us, tell it all. And then we are going to use actually a combination of butter and olive oil. And you can choose to do just one or the other, or you can actually use broth uh, if that's your if that's your choice. So we're going to do a little bit of olive oil and butter to start. So once we get that in the pan, we will get that all started and we'll get it heated up. And once that's nice and heated, I like to go ahead and put in my garlic. Now, one thing is we left one of our garlic whole. So, Dr. Dancing Lion, would you like to talk about that? Why? Oh, why would we do that? Okay, so as budding vegetablarians, I did well. <laughs> Um, we want to know what we can do. We can start out eating more vegetables and then how do we make our food even do more for us? We get better gas mileage, so to speak, out of our food. So more bang for your buck. More bang for your buck. You know, garlic, it costs what it costs. We can make it work more for us by, um, there's certain properties in garlic that are only available to you if, they, if the garlic is raw. So, and those are the more medicinal properties. Those are the things you think of when you think of having garlic because you have the cold or the flu or something like that. And you want to, it's antibacterial and antiviral properties, it means it kills the bugs that bug you, um, are, are available only when the garlic is raw. And so, in order to get both the widest range of benefits and stuff, you know, go with the crushing for the aroma and the flavor, and then go with the raw chop for the medicinal properties. Thank you. Okay. So, so we're going to also do that with our spinach, um, because one of the things that I like to do, people always ask me about raw versus cooked. And so what I like to do is, why choose? I'm one of those people, I don't like to choose if I don't have to, That's especially right. if there are things that I love. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cook most of our spinach that we have here today. But we're going to leave a couple of leaves out that we're just going to sprinkle on top. And you can chop it if you want. And, but basically, it's going to be a little bit of a garnish, but it's going to be the same. So you'll get some of the benefits of the raw and the cooked. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, in that nice hot pan, we're going to add garlic. So I'm going to put the garlic in the nice hot sizzling pan. Is there a garlic dance? Do we there have is, a dance to go with the garlic? There's not a garlic dance. Garlic needs its own so, dance. Um, right so down. we are gonna <laughs> so take garlic in olive oil. So you want the aroma of the garlic to be released. Let's see. That smells wonderful. And that is when I add ah. my nutmeg. I throw a little nutmeg on top. I tend to be pretty generous with it. So I guess if I were to guesstimate, it would probably be about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Um, you know, play with it. And then I will add a little bit of lemon juice. And that will definitely get it sizzling. So go ahead and saute that garlic in that. And again, if you want to use broth, if you don't want to use, you know, olive oil, has its properties, but of course you can always add the olive oil afterwards. 
and then we'll add the spinach. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. One thing I will mention is we are using organic spinach. And the reason we're using organic spinach, link below, <laughs> is that the Environmental Working uh, Group is an organization that actually does a study every year of the dirtiest fruits and vegetables. Um, and by dirty, I mean the most insecticides, pesticides, the most quantity and the highest levels. And so spinach is one of their dirty dozen. They actually have dirty dozen plus two now. Um, but one of the ones that if you can get organic, you should because they tend to have higher levels. Now again, if you go to a farmer's market and get something local, you may be buying it from someone who can't necessarily afford the organic label, but you can ask them what they, how they you know, grow their plants in order to understand if they're growing it sort of more organically, but may not necessarily have the label. So right. farmer's markets are your friends. That's right. So, Support local farmers. So let's go ahead and this is gonna be our move for today. It's oh, going to be goodness. called the spinach drop. Oh my goodness, okay. okay. So, are you ready? Because you're going to have to do this. i got to do this. So, these are already washed. I'm not going to wash them right now, okay. but these are already washed. Okay. So, All right. there's a little, get an extended arm. Okay, i got to practice. I'm practicing the spinach drop. <laughs> drop back. Uh-uh. And drop. And drop. And, and, and sizzle. sizzle. Sizzle is supposed to happen. Yes. All right, so, let me, let me, let me, so let me, take a handful. Let me see if I can get this. All right, let me try. All right. All right. Just finish drop, y'all. Check it out. Step back. <clears throat> Extend. Back, back, and back, drop. Back, back, ah! And, okay, thank you. Here we go. <laughs> bum, bum. which includes a lot of the enzymes. So you don't want to break everything down in the spinach. So to get the most benefit, as we were talking about before, what we're going to do now is we're going to take it out of the pan and then we're going to dress it a little bit more. So this is our opportunity to add the whole garlic, the raw garlic, the raw olive oil. Basically, we would put a little bit more olive oil, just a touch, and then a couple more pieces of spinach, and we which we can use the spinach drop to mm -hmm. put on there. Okay. And maybe a little extra lemon juice. Lemon, of course. Because lemon okay. has some properties when raw that it doesn't have when cooked too. So All right. that's one of those so let's do it. double your money type situations there. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. Now you can see what that cooked down to. So our next step. Is that right? What, so now I we've got, we, you can, you know what? You can make it your own. Drop you can and pop, pop and drop, drop pop. but it but is it a spinach drop, spinach. but it can add a spinach pop. Yes! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so, so um, in terms of the raw garlic, you can add that. You can add a little bit more, as we talked about, the lemon juice. Sometimes when I'm serving it, I may add some sliced lemon on top just oh, to nice. kind of garnish it and make it look nice. But other than that, our spinach is ready to go, so we're going to have a little lunch, and we'll see you later. March 4th. March 4th. Thank you. <laughs>